Hello, this is Priscilla Badsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. And those are containers that I could pour out of. And this is a 14 by 14 inch canvas, not pre-primed, that I'm thinking of putting a puddle of paint on. But in the meantime, I'm going to pour myself, I want to call it a ring pour cup, but it's honestly, I want to make fingerlings. And um, I guess that makes it a traveling and what I've got is some like two and a half or three year old um, gloss enamel <laughs> that I'm not sure the consistency of, but I've given it a bit of a shake and it was mixed with Floetrol, of that I'm certain. And I've got uh, color art products, I've got Vivid Intenses, and I'm going to use the Vivid Intenses that I know that I have mixed with Floetrol because they don't have shimmer and there's no chance that the Floetrol will kill the shimmer. This one is Phalo. Phalo Blue. And I want to make some dramatic statements, but I don't know what I'm doing. It's been a while, and I hope I don't run out of that paint, because I'd really like to not. Now, color I like with blue is green, and I've got a yellow-green. And with the green, I like the turquoise. And I've got a couple few choices. Actually, I've got a turquoise. Yeah, I think I'm going with a phyllo turquoise. And I should have put a layer in between, and I think it'll be okay. We're probably going to get some cells out of this. Because that's what, the, what I used to use the enamel for. And I going to try and remember the paint brand and if I do I'll put it underneath the video. This is a blue black and I think that's going to be not next. I think it'll be after this Vivid Intense Phalo green mixed with what? Whatever it, it's some um, it's a custom purple <laughs> mixed with some Vivid Intenses. I thought about just taking the tops off all my bottles. Now I want to throw a rogue element in there, which could be the yellow, or it could be one of the reds, pinks. And I think it would look good. I've got Vivid Intense Quinacridone Magenta, which is one of my favorites. The Quinacridone Magenta part. Now I didn't grab an orange, but maybe I should. Put that in the center. Get rid of these. Hope my studio rag is still wet. Let me go grab a, an orange. I think that's Indian yellow. I've got a fluorescent yellow orange, which is not any more yellow orange than the Hansi yellow with Paroli orange in it that I mixed. I think I need to put some more white in between there. I did pull out some Dancing Fuchsia, which is the new Purely Pigments. Look for the 20% off color at coupon code below the video, by the way. Now I've got what I feel to be almost enough paint in this cup. I haven't added any gold and I'm kind of inclined. Because the paint is thinner, I'm kind of almost convinced that I might be able to get away with adding some of my Decoid Americana 24 karat gold. I still want an orange. The oranges I've got Oh, there's a paroli orange. Perfect. Not that I feel like I'm actually going to get it. And rather than put more white in there, I'm just going to go ahead and try the Decor de Americana 24 karat gold because it is fairly similar. I never did put any... Oh, I did put green in. I put a yellow green in. This is Miami Magenta. Oh, don't put that in there, girl. Okay. I'm going to skip that. Um, do I want anything else? I guess I'm going with what I've got. Oh. I had one more color, but I'm not putting that in there either. Okay, so I'm going to get this out of the way. Bring my canvas over. We'll see what happens. I was watching one of my affiliates do one of these, her first evidently, earlier today. And it was, it turned out beautiful. Like a big purple wave. 
So what I'm thinking is of spreading a layer and then adding a puddle. This is my OXO Omelo Turning Flip and Fold Spatula. Best paint spreading tool I know of on the Amazon link. On the link tree underneath show more under the video near the 20% off color coupon code. And if you like Boom Gel or or Pebio iridescent paint or Pebio paints period, you should look at Pixel Paint Designs because they also sell Australian Floetrol, which is, in my opinion, still the best cell activating thing. I shouldn't have to worry too much about the middle because I'm putting more paint in there. I just want enough paint to, to slide around and I'm going to make sure that I have, try not to make too much noise doing this. I've got a dish. If I need to pour some color off, I prefer to try and pour it into a dish and that way I have leftovers and I can always cover it with um, Glad Press and Seal. Should not fuss too much about this right now. I'm going to scrape that off and throw it right into the bucket, which is a big triangular trough. Now this is akin to what I consider a funnel pour, but my funnels are canning funnels, I'll show you, which is basically the same thing as an opened cup, which they usually start with a puddle like that. I want black in there. I can always add something afterwards. I'm going to try, oh boy. Well. I don't feel like I'm having the kind of luck I was expecting or hoping for, but it might still be cool. get all of the paint out of there. I have never done this with the Vivid Intenses. I really had no intention of spinning. There, finally at the very end. That's a, but I am using a spouted container, a cream pitcher, and uh, I kind of feel like if I used a flat edge or a large cup it might be a different a different end entirely. I'm going to leave that. I might be able to use that on my edges. I'm not sure what I'm going to do except for get a second plate because it really looks like a lot of paint. Get the chips out of my container. So I was watching Britta, and Britta goes slow, which has never been my strong suit. And if I'm too fast, I'll lose all my great colors. So it behooves me to try. And while I'm tipping, I guess I'm just going to go. Yeah, turntable's going to turn. almost lost that and I think I might have got it back. There's probably too much paint on here is what I'm thinking. But I do use GAC 800 in all of my paint mixtures which might save the day. And I could even go for some negative space. If, it, if the paint wasn't quite so heavy, I could save save it almost like it is now, and it would be very cool in my opinion. I'm loving that quinacridone magenta. I see there's something in here, and before it leaves a trail, the whole painting, which it will. I love that little weird spot that I finished with. 
I don't really want to get rid of anything. <laughs> it's been such a long time. And I have paint, so if I stretch the paint back, I've got another thing in there. It could easily be from the white paint, which I should have been, due diligence says I should have screened it. I kind of liked, I got fond of that outside edge. So I kind of hate to see it go, but that is what's going to happen. It is going to go. And more of those things. I really didn't take, I'm not taking responsibility for the fact that I really should have done that. I said I like the center, but I'm not as sure I like it as, as I did, much as I did. I could, at this point, I think, take the paint in my dish and pour it on the canvas. Maybe even use this, um, oh, I've got too much paint all over there. I could use a shovel. I might still do that. We'll see. We'll see how this little thing in the middle goes to the corner. Which is my intention. I mean, a lot of my paint is all over the silicone map, but some of it is managing to make it into the pan, which is good. I'm just going to keep tipping. I'm going to try and take this down off of here without dropping it from having slippy, slippery fingers. Oh, my silicone mat is beautiful. And I've got way fewer things than I deserve to have in my paint, considering that that paint's been sitting there for like years, literally years. And I had quite a bit of that white paint on the base as well. Do I want to do that? I do. I don't have a choice. Darn. Yeah, I do. I have a choice. I have cottage cheese lids. And they will do nothing more than at least raise up my canvas. Although that's not wide enough. I kind of want to let all those drops dry on there. Give me a second while I wash my hands off and then decide if I'm going to do what I think I'm going to do, which is take a shovel and ribbon pour, a wandering ring pour, across the top. Now maybe I want to put some gold in there too. Gold or silver. What else am I going to do? I'm going to grab this, this thing that I kept trying to grab that I haven't successfully removed yet. This was my first try today, too, as far as I can recall. I mean, I've been doing this five, six years. I could have done something I forgot about. Okay, so I've got this pan of colors, and I kind of want some dark blue in there. That probably was too quick. I'm sorry. So I'm going to put some of the blue-black in there. As long as I can get it open. Why are you not opening? You have a marble in your tip? Okay, well in that case I'm just... Oh, wow! <laughs> Big clot. I'm wondering if I want something other than the blue. I'm going to be wasting a fair amount of paint, which is unusual for me. 
I'm going to throw some more quinacridone magenta in there. And then we're going to experiment and see how the shovel works. And this is the yellow or the yellow with paroli orange in it. All right, so here goes nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> Where to start? Well, that's kind of cool. I might have to do that again. If I'm quick. I'm liking the little patterns. It looks, but they remind me of caterpillars. I've got something really big in there. Goodbye thing. That does not belong. I want some pink. And I'm going to use the Vivid Magenta Fluorescent. But my head isn't blocking everything. So I'm really tempted to just leave it. I want some... I got two minutes. So I should tell you, what should I tell you? I'm going to tell you I'm going to put some more of this custom purple in there. As long as it'll open. And maybe some of this phthalo blue, because I can't see why not. Oh, I've got some green too. So I have 33 playlists with hundred videos on them each and everything is also organized by topic and genre so if you like a certain topic or genre please feel free to let me know and I will do my best to get you a playlist because I have them saved and easily accessible and it's not a problem for me I'm not so sure about this down here Kind of looks like Snapdragon in there, but I know it's not. It's got to be that blue-black mixing with the purple. Yep, I got some drips. Which always stimulates my interest in more of the same when I like what the result is of the accidental happening. Funky sea creatures is what I'm seeing. Some kind of weird reef shrimp. I want more pink and I'm afraid that you're going to be gone. I'm doing the vivid magenta. And I'll be back in a second. Right after I take that last lump out. I might put some yellow in there too. 
Okay, I'm back. Let's focus. Good, better. So I'm going to go with, and I just said the magenta, which was fluorescent, and I'm going to put the quinacridone magenta with it. And I've got, wow, I've got a lot of colors. <laughs> um, I really want that yellow. And honestly, I'd like some of the orange, so I'm going to use the yellow orange as well. If it'll come out. Maybe I want the paroli orange instead. That's pretty much more true. The only thing I don't really think I need more of is the green, because I have a nice, a goodly amount of green. Ooh, I almost dumped it. I'm trying to flood and fill in some of these gaps that I feel would benefit from more paint. But there's a really good chance, if there's not enough GAC 800 in here to protect this, that um, it won't really stay good. It might crack, because that paint is very heavy. I am going for the blue-black, because I've got paint in my dish. And I'm going to do something weird. Put some Decorate Americana 24 karat gold in there too. I could go more, but I don't think I'm going to. It is what it is. It's different, and that's okay. It was an experiment. We had a good time. I have another dish if I want to pour some paint off. And I was taking chances using old paint. I really want to tump that off, but I also really like that down there. Let's give it a shot. Let's move it a little bit. I see something in there again. Oh no, I took my eye off the bowl. Oh no, where'd it go? There it is. Hey, it was just a bubble. That's actually a relief. So that's pretty neat. Chances are I'm going to have some, some jetsam in there. I kind of want to let it go right off the end. And I'm going to have some very bright colors and some very messy hands. Come on, lift, lift, lift. And I guess I'm kind of lucky that the white didn't take over. And anything I need to fill in, I will. I've got plenty of paint. <laughs> Plenty, plenty, plenty of paint. I don't think there's any shimmer in here, so there's not much point in me shimmering it at you. But, let go. I am going to use a stick. And make sure that I'm perfectly happy with my design.
And honestly, I like a lot about this. I'm liking it more as I look at it, but I want a, to drop a little bit of quinacridone magenta in there. And I'm hoping it doesn't sink. And it is a similar consistency. That's why I tried to use most of the same colors. Um, paint. How do I say that? <laughs> They're all vivid intenses for the most part. Yep, I like that. I'm going to give it a little bit more. I'm going to try the blue-black. I might be crazy. Be good if it were open. Let's try it in an inconspicuous spot. Let's put it in a conspicuous spot that's more appropriate. That's good. That was a really wise move on my part. Right down over the edge. Cool. Doesn't look like anybody else's. I'm going to do the same thing I just did. And continue my line over the edge. I like that. That works. That works for me. I suppose I could probably still give you a little close-up. And I'm not sure. There might be something with some shimmer in there. Do I have yellow? I kind of want to see if I can make the yellow stay. What is it? It's the... Um, it's the Hansa yellow with paroli orange in it. Can't imagine what this could signify, but I don't really mind. And I'm, I'll be very interested to see what survives, you know. Because there's no cell activator in there. Nothing's going to be expanding. And it looks like my camera battery wants to die. So I'm going to say I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is pretty cool. The latest fading in my studio. Please give me a thumbs up. Know that watching the videos longer is the only thing that speaks to the YouTube algorithm to help save my channel. And that members of my channel are saving my channel and they are the only ones with the exception of people who use Patreon to make a donation and people who use PayPal to make a donation. You guys are keeping me in canvases. And uh, don't forget to shop Color Art. There's 20% off Color Art coupon code. Don't forget that. If you shop my Amazon link on the link tree, you, uh, you, there's a little bit of increment that comes to me eventually on Snow Owl, but mostly you go there because I have two books and they're, because I can, in Unlimited Possibilities, the first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube. And you might enjoy them. They're still relevant today. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And I do sell my artwork. And you can inquire using that email address. Um, my community board will show you tomorrow's video. Questions are welcome and encouraged. And uh, everything that I create is reproducible on whatever is available at La Gallery, Society6, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, well, not so much Instagram lately, but it might come back. <laughs> I think so. I think I'm going to put a couple more yellow dots in there. But for right now, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, don't forget to look at spring spring stuff underneath the, underneath the video stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, everything's available as a reproduction. And I love you guys. Every, every little bit helps, and I appreciate all of it. So I hope you come again. Bye for now. If, you, if I forgot anything, you'll find it in another video. See you anon. Priscilla out.